Hello students, I am Akanksha and this is my channel Science Par Chacha in which we will study about some of the very basic science concepts that are in our NCERT books and I hope you all are as excited as I am to learn new things. So now we will begin with our today's class. Good morning class. So today we will start with a brand new topic and that is isobars. Okay. Uh, before going into the topic, we will uh, see an example of it. And then through this example, we will then see what this topic actually means. Like what are isobars actually? And then we will again see some examples. Okay. So the topic for today is isobars, right? Okay. So now moving on ahead, we will see these pictures, right? In this picture, what you have to do is you have to identify like uh, what different, what are the similarities in all these atomic structures of different elements like in argon and uh, potassium and calcium, right? What are the similarities and what are the differences? Okay. So yes, uh, first we will see the similarities. Okay. And the similarities are, I think, um, yeah. Uh, we can see here um, in these uh, where the names are written with their atomic masses and their atomic numbers. Here we can see uh, all these elements, they have same atomic masses, right? 40, argon is having 40 atomic mass and potassium is having 40 and calcium is having 40 again. And then if we move on ahead, like with the dissimilarity part, uh, like the uh, differences between these elements, are like uh, their atomic numbers are different, right? And also these all elements, they have different numbers of protons and also they have different numbers of neutrons. And then we can also see that they have different numbers of electrons. So in all these atoms, there is just one similarity and that is they have similar atomic mass, right? You have to remember this. The similarity is they have similar atomic mass. And the differences is like, there are many differences in these three, uh, like three elements, right? Like their atomic numbers are different, their protons are different, proton number is different, their neutron number is different, and also their electron number is different. So this was all about the similarity and differences. Okay, so now we will see what are these elements called, which have similar atomic masses, but they have different atomic number, right? Okay, so now moving on ahead, we will see the proper definition of isobars, okay? So uh, here we will study about isobars now. So isobars are atoms, right? Atoms of different elements with different atomic numbers. As we saw the example of uh, like argon and uh, potassium and then calcium, they had different atomic numbers, but they have the same mass number, right? 40, 40, and 40. So that were like all these three elements come into a category. And this category is, they are the isobars having similar atomic mass, but different atomic number. So this was the proper definition of isobars. And, I, and now I hope that you are clear with this concept of isobars, right? Okay, so this was all about today. Uh, and this was our small topic for today. Okay, so now uh, moving on ahead. Yes, uh, so yes, uh, students, thank you for watching my video and please like my video and comment on it if you have any doubts regarding this video or this concept and also share it with your friends and families, okay? And subscribe to my channel and help my channel grow. Okay, thank you and bye.